see this diagram um, here on the screen, what do you think you're gonna, how much time you're gonna take to make this diagram? Um, including the thought process of, you know, what should I do? What should be the phases and so on? Obviously, at least one or two days, you know, with my team. But here, if I tell you, I did all of this work in just two hours, under two hours, would you believe it? I used ChatGPT. So let's see what did I do? Um, so the beginning starts from I'm actually thinking of launching a PM community on WhatsApp or Facebook or LinkedIn. So I went to ChatGPT and I said today, help me create a project plan for my project. My project is to launch PM community to managers designate. This is a WhatsApp community. What and how should I plan for it? Now here, Chad GPT came out with a lot of stuff. It says, you know, conceptualization, planning, identify your audience, um, then set up, create a WhatsApp group, welcome initial members, then launch. Um, in the launch, have a soft launch, and then iterate, and then go with official launch. So have a pilot first and then grow, have regular content activities, feedback loops, recognition, monitor and moderate, and then go ahead with evaluate and scaling up later, have some performance metrics, regular review, scaling, and then use certain tools, etc., to do all of that. So this was pretty nice to begin with. I liked it. Um, and then I said, you know, can you create the um, roadmap for it? Um, so I went to another tool, which is called diagram.showme. Now, I'll, if you go to explore GPTs, you're going to see a lot of tools here. Um, so go to chat GPT and then the cartoonize yourself. I showed you when uh, the first lesson as how can you make cartoons of your characters. The second is this uh, GPT, which is based on obviously chat GPT and DALE. So if you click here, there are many GPTs which you can explore and I will over a period of time with you gonna explore it with you guys, uh, writing GPTs um, and so on. Today we, uh, because I wanted to create the roadmap in the first instance or wanted to create a high level as to just to give me a thought process that what should be done when we talk about, you know, project managers community and it's just actually to brainstorm myself with chat GPT and see whether I'm going in the right direction or not. So there's this um, something called diagrams which made me look into it it's under productivity and there are many others we're going to explore all of them slightly later slide maker sounds very nice to me uh, powerpoint excel these are there right now so um here in uh, diagram show me what i did was i can click here or i can click you know in in here because it was there so um what did I do um, was, this was the community launch, then I clicked on um, diagram show me. So what I did was here, I asked the, this was because I was doing it for the first time, I asked this uh, GPT, can you create roadmap diagrams? If yes, show me a sample. And then it showed me a sample and I can show it to you in the full screen. This is the sample. I liked it. And I said, okay, why not? So create a road roadmap for following. This is my command next time. It says, um, could you please provide the details or events that you would like to include in the roadmap? Obviously, I forgot and I clicked on can, you know, enter here without writing the context. So I copied everything which my GPT gave me earlier, launching this phase one conceptualization and planning identify audience, phase to set up, um, create welcome kit, etc. soft launch, iterate, official launch, same data. I copied and pasted and I said, okay, make a roadmap for this or a high level plan for this. Now I understand I've not given any schedule to this GPT. So I, I was wondering as to how it's going to do stuff. So um, it did some stuff and it says, looks like there is a problem. 
there is an issue. Um, so I said, okay, try again at a high level. I wanted to just see a roadmap and maybe details like, you know, when, etc. I can fill it up myself. And then it actually did some kind of magic and created me this diagram. And um, I liked it. And I said, can you create a schedule for this? Now, um, they created something. I It was actually the same diagram, nothing else. So with some more details. So I said, okay, I want to now edit this thing with because I needed a code, I needed the schedule to be put in. Let me show it to you full screen. So what came out was planning, setup, launch, growth, evaluation. And then there was some kind of schedule. It kind of printed some schedule. I didn't like it. Um, so I went back to the previous version, which was this. And it has planning, setup, launch, growth, evaluation, and then you know define objectives blah 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 and scale and so on so i like this one better let me have a look at this one also it has kind of some schedule mm, this is also good so this is another way one can write stuff um so what i did was i went and i said can i um you know i need to edit this diagram i like this one better so can i edit with code so what I did was I clicked on edit with code and I came to this screen. Now this is the screen wherein you have all of these diagrams and this is a tool called Mermaid. So this is a diagram which I kind of created. Now if you look at it, it has, let me blow it up for you so that you can see it better. So if you look at this, I said, okay, in March, I'm going to do planning. In April, I'm going to do setup. In May, I'm going to do launch. In June and July, there's going to be growth. And in August, we're going to do evaluation. So I kind of changed a few things here. How did I change it? If I look at this, there are certain sections. So sections are planning, uh, setup, and so on. This is what, so this guy has given me a raw data as this one. And this is the code, right? Um, so what I did was, I looked at half documentation. I said, let me have a documentation and see how can I change it. Now there is this documentation as to how do you go about making the changes. Um, and um, I said, okay, now let's edit this diagram, which is this diagram, auto sync is on and so on. So, um, here so then i look at the documentation and i said okay stone age bronze age and then there are some this is the one which it showed me here right planning setup and then the timelines this was also nice i could have changed this but what i did was um i looked at the the yeah here and I like this one, which is, you know, section this, which has some dates and then the, you know, description. So I got inspired with this, which has, you know, quarter one release personal year and so on. So I said, why not let me change the, let me change the roadmap with the one. And I kind of changed it. I said section and then wrote the month and then because i didn't want it to come in the same line i used the word called br br is have a break in the line and then planning came down similarly here again i wrote the dates here and other things remained the same so it created me this uh, diagram once i changed the sections i was good to go um, now the other thing which i wanted to look at was something called theme i changed the theme you can change it to different colors you can change it to forest different colors of green i like this one better which is the base theme and then you can go ahead and export the image um, whatever changes you have done you can export it as whichever so i export it as png 
and that's what you saw on your screen. So this is something which you can begin with, um, get into a discussion with your team, brainstorm, um, use estimations, use work with your team and then build on this. Um, so chat GPT is going to help you reduce the timeline, reduce the thinking process. If you know project management, it won't create a project plan for you if you don't know project management, understand that. So you need to know the context, the basics of project management, the tools to, you know, describe things. Then only chat GPT is going to help you. So this is the first tool which we have explored uh, to create a roadmap. I hope you like the video. Let me know your comments, write your comments and let me know how you feel about it. If you have any suggestions on which video you want to see, please do write and um, I'll try and create that. Thank you. Have a very nice day. Bye-bye.